Hello everyone. Today I am going to discussing about the transportation problem per Vogel's approximation method. This method I will be discuss with one example problem. Problem is find the initial basic feasible solution for given transportation problem by BAM method. Let's see the solution by step by step. First, we have to check the given transportation problem is balanced or not. For this, we have to find the total supply and demand. Here, total supply is 34 and total demand is 34. Here, total demand equal to the total supply. So, given transportation problem is balanced. Let's start the BAM method to find the basic feasible solution. First step is find the penalty for each row and column. Here, penalty is determined by second minimum value minus minimum value per respected row and column. Second step is choose the maximum penalty and solve the selected row or column. Then remove the selected row or column. Third step is repeat the step 1 and step 2 until the remove the table. Let's start the solution for the given problem. First, we have to find the penalty 1 for rows and columns. Penalty for S1 row is 19 minus 10. Here, 10 is the minimum value and 19 is the second minimum value. So, penalty is 19 minus 10, that is 9. Similarly, penalty for the S2 row is 40 minus 30, that is 10. And S3 row is 20 minus 8, that is 12. Similarly, penalty for the D1 column is 40 minus 19, that is 21. For D2 column is 30 minus 8, that is 22. For D3 column, penalty is 50 minus 40, that is 10. For D4 column, penalty is 20 minus 10, that is 10. Among these penalties, we have to choose the maximum value. Here, maximum value is 22 for the D2 column. In D2 column, we have to choose the minimum value, that is 8. For 8, observe the total supply and total demand. So, here, the value of the demand is 8 and the value of the supply is 18. Then allocate the 8 here and do the 8 minus 8 equal to 0 and also 18 minus 8 equal to 10. Here we are getting the 0 value for the D2 column then remove the D2 column. Next, we have to find the penalty 2 for S1 row. Here, penalty is 19 minus 10, that is 9. And for S2 row is 16 minus 40, that is 20. For S3 rows, 40 minus 20, that is 20. Similarly, for D1 column is 40 minus 19, that is 21. So, D2 column, so there is a no D2 column. We have removed that one. Next, for the D3 column is 50 minus 40, that is 10. For D4 column, 20 minus 10, that is 10. Among these values, 21 is the maximum penalty. For that one is for D1 column. In D1 column, minimum value is 19. So, observe the supply and demand for the 19 value. So, observe that, here observe that, supply is 7 and the demand is 5. So, demand is the minimum value. Then enter the minimum value that is 5 here and do 
5 minus y equal to 0 and 7 minus y equal to the 2. Here we are getting the 0 value for d1 column. Then we have to remove the d1 column. Next to find the penalty 3 for S1 row. Penalty 3 for S1 row is 50 minus 10. That is 10. For S2 row is 60 minus 40. That is 20. For S3 row is 70 minus 20. That is 50. Similarly, you have to find the penalty for the columns. Here, D1 column and D2 column we are removed. So, penalty for the DT column is 10 that is 50 minus 40 that is the 10 and penalty for the D4 column is 20 minus 10 that is the 10. Among these values maximum value is 50 per S3 row. In S3 row minimum value is 20. So we have to observe the demand and supply for 20 value. Here, demand is the 14 and supply is the 10. Among the supply and demand values, minimum value is the supply value that is 10. So, enter the 10 value here and do the 10 minus 10 equal to the 0 and 14 minus 10 that is 4. Here, we are getting the 0 value for the S3 row. Then we have to remove the S3 row. Next to find the penalty 4. For S1 row is 50 minus 10. That is 40. And for S2 row is 60 minus 40. That is 20. And penalty for D3 column is 40 minus 50 that is 10 and for the d4 column is 60 minus 10 that is 50. Among these penalties 50 is the maximum value for d4 column. In d4 column minimum value is the 10 so observe the supply and demand for the value of the 10. Here supply is the 2 and demand is the 4. So, supply 2 is minimum value and enter 2. So, allocate the 2 here and do the 2 minus 2 0 and 4 minus 2 equal to the 2. Here, we are getting the 0 value for the S1 row. So, remove the S1 row. Next, we have to find the penalty 5 for S2 row. S1 row just now we are removed. So, we have to do the penalty 5 for the S2 row. That is 60 minus 40, 20. And here S3 also we are removed. S3 row also we are removed. Next, penalty 5 for the D3 column is 40. And penalty 5 for the D4 column is 60. Among these values, 60 is the maximum value that is for the D4 column. Here we are having the only when one value that is 60. So we have to observe the demand and supply for the 60 value. Here demand is the 2 and the supply is the 9. Among these 9 and 2 values minimum value is the demand 2. So, we have to allocate the demand 2 here and do the 2 minus 2 is 0 and 7 minus 2 equal to 7. So, here we are getting the 0 value for the D4 column. Then, we have to remove the D4 column. Next, we have to do for the penalty 6 for S2, S2 row. Here, we are having the 1 value that is 40. Similarly, Penalty 6 for the D3 column. Here also we are having the only one value that is 40. So we have to observe the supply and demand for the 40 value. Here supply is 7 and demand also 7. So allocate the 7 value here and do the 
7 minus 7 that is 0 and 7 minus 7 equal to 0. So we have to remove the D3 column and also here. Now draw the transportation table with allocations. Here number of allocated cells are the 6 that is equal to the M plus N minus 1. Here M equal to the number of rows and N equal to the number of columns. So our transportation cost equal to the 19 into 5 plus 10 into 2 plus 14 to 7 plus 16 to 2 plus 18 to 8 plus 20 into 10. So total transportation cost is 779. So this is the solution for the transportation problem for BAM method. So thank you.